Everybody, this is Cyprus with Olga Mirosh. Actually, my full surname is Mirosnichenko, but just imagine how the Turks and Greek Cypriots and the British and all sorts of other foreigners try to pronounce it. Olga Mirosh, Mirosh. Anyway, I'm Olga Mirosh, and today we are moving to Cyprus. And the very first question is where? To the Greek or Turkish part of Cyprus? Greek is suitable for those who can afford it, having a large budget, better twice as large. And for those who have spare time, because you have to provide all sorts of certificates from the workplace, from the bank, and tell where you got the money to live here. Most recently, I mentioned my video on this exact topic, namely about the pros and cons of both parts of Cyprus. Check it out. Let's change the location somewhere warmer, because it is a total freeze out here. Obviously much better, so let's move on. Well, the majority chooses northern Cyprus, but northern does not mean cold, it just implies the division into northern part of Cyprus and the southern one. The climate and nature are identical, but northern Cyprus is not a part of the European Union and therefore it's much easier to move here. And what is most importantly, anyone can fly to northern Cyprus, you don't need visas, you don't need vaccines, just take a ticket and fly in without staying in quarantine, whoop, and you are on the island. You can move and rent a house initially and on the basis of the lease receive a residence permit here. Or you can buy it right away, I know options that with a minimum down payment will allow you to immediately move in and calmly leave being able to receive a residence permit on this basis. Since I hold a real estate agency, I accompany my future Cypriots from the moment the idea of moving to Cyprus pops up in the mind till the moment they move in and further on. Well, let's pretend you are my clients and let's work our way up through this process together. First, basic issues. Housing. You need to keep in mind three things. Housing is measured here by the number of bedrooms. Villa. A villa is any separate house, triplex, townhouse, generally everything. The villa or apartment is measured by the number of bedrooms, since the kitchen is mostly combined with the living room. It is called a salon. And then there are the bedrooms. How many bedrooms you need is up to you. Secondly, real estate and cars here are paid for in British pounds sterling, while lira is a currency of everyday life. Thirdly, current dollar, ruble and euro exchange rate can be checked on the internet for accuracy. It fluctuates generally there, so it is better to check how much will you pay for one pound, dollar and so on. Real estate prices. Studios price starts from 40,000 pounds, one bedroom apartments from 50,000, with two bedrooms from 60,000, villas from 180,000. This is a market price. These facilities will guarantee comfortable residence with your family, with kindergartens, schools, restaurants, shops and all infrastructure situated nearby. Surely you can come across more affordable prices, but there are grey areas and documents, or it is a quite remote location. The first option with documents ambiguity is not even considered. While faraway distances are at your discretion, it is just the matter of your personal comfort options can be always found. What about a separate real estate release? We can discuss in more details districts, how to get a mortgage, installment plans, about all sorts of layouts. Would this issue be of interest to you? Congratulations, you made up your mind with the house. That is the most significant expenditure. Now you can pack up your belongings and move. That's all. Talking about necessary documents. In addition to foreign passports, marriage certificates, birth certificates, you need to order only two documents. The first, certificate of non-conviction. It must be in paper form with blue stamps for everyone except citizens of Kazakhstan. They have the coolest digital government service that can provide it online. Number two, an extract from the school with the subjects and grades of your child. You don't need to translate anything, neither an extract from the school nor a certificate of non-conviction. This all will be done locally. Small clarification, tiniest clarification, teeny tiny little clarification. A certificate of non-conviction is needed only for the owner of an apartment or villa all the rest of his household doesn't need it. The next point is tough. The best scenario is to sell everything at home and buy all new here, cause transporting things to the island is expensive. I had Cypriots who ordered giant containers and those who fit their past life into two backpacks. 
and latter one is tuning on the top gray. You can take a little more belongings with you and pay for the overweight. There is also an option of sending by post. The most insidious plan is to transfer unnecessary things to friends and when they go to visit you and they will definitely do it. Ask them to take things with them. Finally, you are on the island and we are starting the process of obtaining a residence permit. It will take about a month and a half and will cost about 2,000 lira per each adult. Children don't need it, they automatically receive a residence permit, since they are children. I'll make a separate video exclusively about education. It'll encompass all the subtleties, advice on which school to choose, as well as how to make the education free. Write in the comments whether we need to speak about it. Generally, the main reason why people move here is exactly education. Here you can give a great start in the life of a child and at the same time pay not a sky-high amount of money like at our native country. about expenses in general. Before moving, I had a conversation with my future Cypriots on how much they are going to spend per month, and the first two or three months spending is usually 30% higher than interest. Just accept it as a given, you will spend slightly more and this is predictable and normal because you are still getting used to the new place. A car. You can do without it, but of course it's better to have personal transport. You can also rent a car if you intend to rent it for a long period, it will cost from 400 euros. You can come to the island by your own one, it can be implemented despite some possible fuss over the document. I recommend to better buy here. I will attach a link to the site for the selection of cars in the description to this video. Luxury and compare prices. You are probably now dizzy from the abundance of information and it seems that everything is so complicated. In fact, we will go through every step together, gradually, it won't be difficult at all. Here, when buying real estate, the services of an agent are always included in the price. We all sell the same items, therefore you just have to choose a right person with whom you will be at ease spending hours in communication. Since we will have a lot of time spent together. Before your arrival, as well as discuss your coming here together with filling out all travel documents. And also kindergarten, schools, furniture, appliances, cars. And then we basically all like to meet each other here. Even on Maslenitsa I had to order pancakes from the cook because there were so many of you. And by the way, most likely you will find your first job in the community too. We are all drawn to each other here and we are together all the time. I think I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Check all life hacks concerning job in the next video. In the meantime, if you have any questions, ask them here in the comments or you can write to me directly. In the description of this video there is a link to my Instagram and WhatsApp. Feel free to write to me. It was Cyprus with Olga Mirage! Stay tuned for more, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week, everyone to be present! More. A bit more, seems like not a proper phrase here, yeah? Will do. People say will do, okay. A car, let's move aside a bit. Summer, the first one. And now... And now about prices.